If you've ever seen any blockbuster movie, then you know of the teal and orange colour grade, if not by name, then by look. Today we'll be showing you the theory behind this grade, why it's so effective, and also how we can use it in HitFilm Express 2017. Today's tutorial will be rated 4 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale because we'll be going into some colour theory as well as the curves effect, which are a bit more advanced. So rather than starting off in HitFilm, we're just going to start off by looking at something you all know of, which is the colour wheel. So the teal and orange colour grade is essentially this. You keep the skin tones the same colour, you preserve the skin tones, and you make everything a teal, which is a blue-green kind of colour. The reason this works so well is because of complementary colours. So we'll start off with colour schemes. If you don't know of the complementary colour scheme, it's pretty much opposite colours on the colour wheel. There are a whole ton of other colour schemes, I'll link a video to colour theory which I recommend you all watch. And that has lots of great colour schemes but complementary colour scheme is one of the most obvious. It's just using opposite colours that complement each other well. So the reason teal is used is because it's a complementary colour to skin tones. Skin tones are usually an orange or red-orange colour, and this is really the same regardless of ethnicity as well. So all skin tones fall into this red-orange category. If you look on the colour wheel, red-orange is on the left here, and directly opposite is blue-green, which is this teal colour. When you put the two into your video in your colour grade, then it works really well, and it gives your video a really nice colour palette. So if you're new to colour grading, then teal and orange is a great place to start. We're just going to be jumping into HitFilm now to see how we can apply teal and orange colour grades to our footage. So here I am in HitFilm Express 2017. I've got this one image of a woman. It's been shot very flat, as you can see, uh, so we're just going to have to add some contrast and, of course, add some teal and some orange. So to add our colour grade, many people use various different effects, but usually I use just one effect, and that's the curves effect, and this is for almost all of my grading under normal circumstances. The reason I use the curves effect so much is that it can do so much with just one effect. So I'm just going to grab the curves effect by searching for it in the effects panel and just dragging it onto my video layer. Opening up the curves effect, you can see why many people avoid it, it's kind of complicated, and if you don't know what you're doing, you can mess up your video. But today, I'm hopefully going to teach you how the curves effect works. So the curves effect works by manipulating this line here, which you can do by dragging to create points, like so. And that'll adjust certain parts of the video. So just to mess around with it first, just get the line and just drag it down using one point in the middle. And you'll notice everything becomes much darker. If you drag it up, then everything becomes much lighter. An easy way to think of it is like this. You've got these two uh, axes, the X and the Y. Imagine this gradient as the input. So if you have something that's in the middle, just a grey midtone, then if you follow the path up to where the curve meets and then back out to the Y axis, you can see it's no longer a midtone, but it's now a much brighter tone. And that's essentially how the curves effect works. You can map different luminance values from here, and you can see this one becomes slightly lighter when it goes over here. So if we drag it down, for example, everything that was once a mid-tone now becomes three-quarter dark. So let's look at a practical method of using the curves effect. I'm just going to drag this point down over here, and I'm just going to create another point and drag it up on the top. You'll notice now our image looks much more contrasty compared to the original. And the reason for this is all of the bright bits here have been pushed to be even brighter and all of the dark bits have been pushed to be even darker. This is what creates contrast, and because our clip was shot pretty flat, I'm just going to mess around with these until we get a suitable amount of contrast. So now that you understand the basics of pretty much how the curves effect works, it's time to apply our colours. You'll notice that we've been in the RGB channel, which means all colours, which is why it seems that we've just been adjusting the brightness. So to change this, just click on RGB, and then change it, we're going to start with red. Now whatever we change in the curve, we'll adjust the red channel alone. So going back to our colour wheel, you'll notice that our skin tones were a red-orange, maybe more of an orange, but it's more of a red than it is a green at the very least. So we're going to be getting rid of a lot of red to make way for this teal. 
So back in HitFilm, let's see how this works. You'll notice when we drag the slider down, we get a green-blue wash over our video. When we drag it up, our video becomes really red. So you can see that the face is mostly in the highlights, it's in the brighter areas of the image. So I'm just going to click here to kind of preserve the highlights in the image. I'm just going to drag down in the red over here so that we can remove some red from the shadows. You'll notice that the shadows look quite green though, so just go over to the green channel and do a similar thing, removing some green so it looks more blue in the shadows and adding that green back in the top. The effect is not very subtle, but it is kind of subtle, so I might just ramp it up a little bit more. And now we have a pretty strong teal and orange color grade. If we check and uncheck the curves, we can see just how much of a difference it has made to the look of our video. I'll just show you all of my color channels again. In the RGB, I've added lots of contrast in the red. I've added lots of red in the highlights and then removed some from the shadows. And then green, I've done a similar thing. You can also mess around with the blue channel if you want as well to, for example, add some blue into the shadows or remove some from the highlights, but it's a bit excessive in my opinion, so I'm just going to keep it flat. And that's how you apply the teal and orange color grade in HitFilm Express 2017. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of this, then just subscribe for more content. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.